Today we're going to talk about Layer Factory, which is a very interesting plugin for Photoshop. When accessing it for the first time, you would be greeted by a helper and some text explaining the layout of the panel. Layer Factory consists of a multitude of settings that each can be hidden from the panel if not needed at the moment. The settings shown on the bundle of Layer Factory are defined by two standards, which are list modules and square modules. List modules consist of basic layer bending, I mean bending modes, and adjustment layers that are commonly used in Photoshop, while on the other hand, square modules contain several other functions within them. The Layer Factory extension UI is very malleable. You can display or hide anything you want depending on your needs. Most Photoshop projects, if not all, do in fact have some layers in them. Layer Factory list settings compile a list of daily use modifiers such as bend mode in situation brightness level curves and more. And you can choose which ones to have on the layout menu panel depending on which settings used most during the workflow. But if you don't mind having all the settings pop out, you can simply choose to show all the drop down menu elements in Layer Factory. Most of the layer options used from the layout panel can be displayed and come into effect in multiple ways. For example, clicking an option alone applies the current effect immediately, while holding shift and choosing set option will result in Photoshop allowing you to mess with the effect settings before applying them. Also, additionally, holding command slash control make it so the new layer becomes a mask for the active selected layer. Also, adjustment layers and modifiers can all be individually altered once added to the project, even if you do not mess with them before applying them. So, Layer Factory as per the update of 1.2 contains 15 modules listed as followed with each module explained. First, add layers. With any blending mode applied, clip the layers chosen and add layer masks in one click. We also have add adjustment layers. This module works similarly to the previous one. You can add adjustment layers that you want, clip them, and add layer masks in one click. Number three, click multiple layers. This module allows you to copy a bunch of layers to a different set of layers, and it saves you clicks and times, of course, which is very important. Number four, bake layers. Baking layers can be done to normals, transparency from clicking masks, merge and clip layers, and grade to transparency. Number five, we have create layers from selection. This function will create a new layer from selection with locked transparency, and layers above will be ignored. Six, transparency to layer masks. This will create a group with a mask based on the layer's transparency with some bleeding. This will be useful for complex images with lots of clipping masks and layers. Number seven, multi-layer move. Move selection of several, this is good for move selection of several selected layers and repeating actions such as copy, cut, and delete. Number eight, temp alpha channel. With temp alpha channel, you can create a temporary channel, load one, delete one in conjunction with load and delete and this can be used to quickly save and load selections. Number nine, paths operations. All path operations from combining to snapping on and off vectors can be worked on with this module. Next, we have a quick summary. To make a symmetrical copy of existing layers, you can use this function that will make symmetrical copy of selected layers or paths using a horizontal or vertical guideline in a document or a path as a symmetry plane. Number 11, Smart Feather. Smart Feather can allow selection to be softened even more precisely with the preview, which is very needed and interesting. We also have the field transparency gaps with stretch pixels or layer copies. Additionally, we have match color, which is a more convenient way of using Photoshop match color function. And it is very useful to quickly use Photoshop to match color functionality without spending hours on setting everything up. We also have arrays to create linear and radial arrays as sort of grids and elements. Finally, we have labels and you can use layer labels to select and hide layers, which is really helpful. So, Layer Factory, with its wide range of tools, allows for a multitude of experimental manipulations that can reshape the way you process information and communicate your ideas throughout your artistic creations. 
fundamentally, altering the workspace to a more futuristic and friendly look thanks to the helper bots and documentations provided with the whole package deal. You will not need to worry about how to set it up or work around it as it is as self-explanatory as it can be, alongside the fact that most of these features have a Photoshop substitute. So, you will be probably familiar with these tools themselves once you understand each one of them. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos similar to this one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.